everybody, it's Amanda from ScreampyMummy.co.uk and today I'm bringing back coffee in a card. Um, I used to do it every Monday, excuse my coffee, it's half drunk and uh, I've decided I'm bringing it back. So every Monday now will be coffee in a card uh, and we'll just make beautiful cards. So without further ado, I've pre-cut my base. This is just an A4 sheet cut in half, so it's approximately 11 and a half inches by four and one eight, scored at five and three quarters. And then I've just cut these uh, layers to go with. This is a whole lot of lovely DSP. I've cut that just one eighth of an inch shorter. And then my stamping layer, because I want the DSP to show behind, is quarter of an inch shorter than the DSP. Okay, really, really easy, straightforward. I just want to just distress the edges of this DSP a right little bit because I do like um, kind of a shabby chic style. Um, and I think you can add elements of it to stamping up, most definitely. So I'm just going to distress that. I do, I did once buy like a distressing tool, but if I'm honest, it wasn't very good so I'm just make, just using the edges of my scissors and it does the same very much the same job so we're just going for that bit of a bit of a warm look there so I'm going to attach that to my card base with some wet glue There we go. Uh, coffee in a card is really, really popular f with Stamping Up demonstrators. It was uh, thought up by the lovely Jenny McCormack, who is a British, well, a UK uh, Stamping Up demonstrator. It was her idea, and it's just basically gone viral. Everybody does coffee in a card. Um, it's a great way for demonstrators that go out in the community to do classes to get contacts and, uh, you know get people crafting but I'm a bit of a homebody <laughs> I don't leave my house unless I need food and even then I'll ring it up if I can so I do all of my work online <laughs> right so that's that done now so I'm just going to move that to one side and I'm going to concentrate on my stamping layer now I'm using the um, birthday blossoms I'm using this beautiful big stamp here and we're going to be using the thinlets, uh, lovely words thinlets, which cut these shapes out here. This is two of the three. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to just dust my card because I'm actually going to emboss. And then I'm going to colour with my aqua painters. So I get my. Oh, I don't want to get my card greasy because I've just dust budded it so I'll just bob that out of the way lots and lots of Ursa mark on there nice and juicy I never ever tire of um, embossing never <laughs> it's just such fun right so which way around do I want this now I think I'm going to have it that way so I'm just going to stamp it across quite a large corner, but I don't want the whole thing, just like so. And give that a nice press. Okay, I'll just move that out of my way. And then I'm going to bring in my little pink tray that I use. And I'm using silver embossing powder. Sprinkle that on. Lovely, lovely. Give that a knock. I'm just going to sweep off that little bit there because I don't want that little bit. I don't want that on. Get off. Okay, so that's just going to be just on a corner like so. Um, let me just think. This is the sentiment that I'm going to use. I might emboss this as well. I'll just move that to one side a minute. So I'm going to use this, but I don't want all that oval. I do think that it's a bit too big for my design. But you can, you know, here you go. Just chop them off and you've got a lovely word, just the words. Like so. 
so that might come in handy for something you never know so I think I'm gonna have it like so or like so. Um, just wondering if I've got room to have a bit of a stamp at the bottom as well let's have a look I think I will so if I have that there like that okay just just buddy that a bit just leave my sentiment where in situ so that I know how much space I've got a bit more of a dust okay and then I can I can't ink it with the lid Amanda <laughs> ink this back up okay and then we can do another kind of a stamp just there but make sure we've got room for our sentiment okay just move my sentiment off some more embossing powder on there oops don't want to knock off what I've already got on so we'll have that like that that's smashing right let's just move that out of the way just knock that excess off right so I'm going to heat set this now if you want to turn your volume down now is the time to do it <laughs> Beautiful, absolutely stunning. If your card warps, just go from underneath and it'll bend back. Beautiful. Right. Okay. right, so I just need a green ink for the leaves as well, which I did forget. So I'm just going to give that a bit of a straighten it out a bit. The heat can warp the card a bit, it just depends. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It might be me holding it a bit close. So let me move those out of the way. Right, so I'm going to squish my ink pad so that I've got this little pool of ink there. So there's my green. And then I'm going to squeeze Berry Burst. That one is Purple's Eyes. Oop, I want it open. Like so. I'll just move my sentiment. And then I'm using my Aqua Painters. And I'm going to very, very gently just add colour in here and because I've got the embossing it will help me keep my paint within you know within the lines as it were okay like so more stems and it really takes no time at all and you can add depth by adding, going on it and adding, you know, more colour. You could go over and add more shades, different tones of green. If you're, I'm not that artistic. I'm not very good at all this shading and, and whatever. <laughs> but I don't think you have to be a fantastic artist to still get lovely, lovely look. Okay, I'll just paint these leaves here. And it's not going to run and bleed because you've got the embossing ink there. Okay. So now all I have to do to clean my aqua painter is, you know, if you're organised, you've got some kitchen roll. Um, I'm just going to use my mat. Get the green off and then I can just go straight in with the berry burst, which I don't want it to... There we go. 
start at the corners and work your way out you'll end up with different tones and shades there we go beautiful you know and you, it, you don't even have to stay in the lines because it'll shrink off of the embossing ink so if you've got a not very steady hand it doesn't matter really doesn't matter at all and then just go if you want just get some slightly darker bit of a darker tone there just dip it in just dip it in okay and we'll turn it around and you're getting a beautiful effect uh, and all I'm doing is just literally water washing that is it okay very very quick to do as well because you know you're not trying to be careful and you don't have to stay in the lines um, so it's really really good but you're still getting that lovely watercolour look which is what we want and here see that one's slightly darker it's fine, I'm going to add a little bit more ink there, a little bit darker ink there, just dot it on and then just round here, just dot it and then it will spread in that water that you've already got on your page and you'll get different tones of colour and there you go, it's good to go, <laughs> we're done with that bit anyway. Oh, I just need to shut this ink and shut this ink before I do stick my arms in it. Okay, so now I just need to decide what I'm doing with my sentiment. I may, I might just heat emboss it actually. I think I might. I think if I heat emboss that it'll just make it just pop. So all I have to do to do that is get hold of it, press it into the verse mat with my fingers what do you any arm it's only like sticky stuff <laughs> for the technical term it's sticky stuff plenty on and give it a good press because you want it in the nooks and crannies um you know lift it out bring my embossing powder back in give it a bit of a swish about Okay, now let me just find my tweezers, just excuse me a minute, there we go, I do have some tweezers on hand for delicate jobs like this, I want plenty on, right let's turn it over and make sure it's all covered, a bit more, okay and then I'm just going to get hold of it there, and bring it to my mat and then I'm just going to try and hold it down sort of in one of the loops and then I'm going to emboss it Now that looks like it's a, a metallic um, embellishment, word embellishment, stunning. Just going to make sure it's cooled. There we go. Bring my card back in and we'll start and build it together. So I'm just going to give that a bit of a dry because it's just a little bit wet. Uh, there we go. I'm going to use dimensionals, I think, to give it a bit of a lift. You might notice I go quite quiet when I'm concentrating. 
when I'm doing something that I find challenging, I often go quiet. <laughs> Whereas normally I don't, don't stop talking, which, you know, is a bit of a fault of mine. But there you go. Okay, so we'll just remove those. Could stay on my mat. It's a good job I've got a mat down, isn't it? But that's how you know you've been creative when you've got a right old mess on your desk. <laughs> if you've not got a messy desk, you're not you're not trying hard enough. <laughs> okay. And I'm putting plenty on uh, of the dimensionals. You might think, why is she using so many? But it's just because the cardstock that I've used has warped slightly because it's not watercolour card. And so by adding loads of dimensionals, it will give my card support so that it goes back to being straight again. Method in my madness, always, always is. Okay, so I'm going to layer that up now. Onto there. And that looks lovely and straight again now because I've put plenty of dimensionals on. Okay. Now we're going to add our friend sentiment. Now, I think I'm just going to glue that straight on. To be honest, I was going to use mini dimensionals, but I do think it's still quite a uh, thin, thin die. So I'm going to be using glue. I'm just going to dot it about. Don't need loads on. Just enough to hold it. Dot it on very carefully. And then I'm going to put it in the centre because I made room for it by judging where to stamp. And there we go. And now you can see the glue at the moment, but that will dry clear. And we've got a beautiful friend stamp. Um, I think that's really nice. I could have stamped again in that corner and down there, but I like it as it is. I think that's really pretty. There's some lovely techniques there for you to try. Um, I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. See you next Monday for Coffee and a Card.